Hey everybody, Randy Howell here, and it is boat walkthrough time. The Triton XRT. This is the new 21 XRT, and this is the boat that you guys will be able to get your ticket chances to win in November for King's Homes. This is the greatest boat I've ever had in my life. And this is the best of the best this year. You'll see, I'm gonna walk through each part and show it all to you, but the 21 XRT, first, just the overview of the boat and how big it is. This new Triton is seven inches wider on the deck. This is actually the widest uh, production bass boat deck ever built right here, this boat. And it is huge, seven inches wider than the previous TRX Triton. And they did that by pushing these walls out. And you see this Triton has got a very, very thin top, top uh, railing here, gunnel, and it's very small and it's narrow. So they pushed three and a half inches out on each side and thinned these walls out and reinforced it with the rub rail up here. This wide deck is my favorite by far. I've got so much room to move around. It is an awesome boat to fish out of. This is the new technology boat. This boat has no buttons or switches on. It's got a touch pad. We have a, an instrument panel that runs everything. We have a picture of everything on this whole boat from head to toe, and you can touch pad that and everything works that way. You got taller seats. We wanted a taller, uh, more supportive seat in these bigger boats, wider, more cushioning on it. Uh, you got a higher seat so it sits up higher in the floor so you can get up and down easier. The layout all the way back is even different. The lids, you notice in the back, there's two lids that open this way it's a lot easier to get in and out of, a lot more room in there. Then it's got a higher back end so you don't get backwash when you stop because the back of the boat has so much flotation. It actually floats really high. I've been impressed in these tournaments here with all the shallow water, wood, and timber, how shallow I've been able to float across things that I used to think there's no way I can make it over that and it would slide right over it. So it's been really good for that. It still has the same high performance quality of the of what Triton's always known for. It still has the offshore racing hull design. I was running like 75 miles an hour with a 24 Tempest prop. The 24 Tempest has been the best prop for this boat, running like 75, 76 by myself uh, with all my equipment in it. And then in tournament load, I've been running 71, 72. So it's a great performance boat. And I love the flush mount on the dash, this whole big new console. I run this one 16 uh, at Laurent 16, but it's really set up to have two 12 inch greens. So you got a great setup there. The other side over here has a Merc monitor, smart craft gauge, all digital. Then I've got a phone charger. It's actually a little phone charger built in over here. You got a stereo system built in right over here. And then back at the front, the nice steps. This is a great thing. The first year I had them, had this with last year, and I really love the steps. You just walk right up and get in and out. It's great for when you're launching the boat by yourself, and all the Tritons have these now. The attention to detail that they went through at Triton to make this boat uh, exactly pro-driven. Even right here, you look at the, no notice this wedge built into the fiberglass on this boat. You know, all the Tritons have always kind of tilted downward in the nose. It tilts down just enough that your transducer wouldn't be level in the water. So a lot of us would use wedge here to raise the trolling motor and nose. We told the guys that at Triton and they actually built that into the fiberglass mold, which helps make that trolling motor and that transducer level in the water to give you a perfect reading for the fish and the act target and such like that so i got this boat equipped right here to start at the front the lorance ghost trolling motor i love the trolling motor i run it now this is the third boat i've had it on got the active target right here which is the best forward facing sonar i believe on the market you can see everything so clear i got the three in one transducer on on the trolling motor here with the nose cone with this transducer and allows you to use the 360 on the on the hds live units right here i've got this boat logics mount these are the heavy dutiest, most solid mounts out here. This boat is designed right here with a solid mount section right here where you can mount two HDS 12 lives or two 12 inch screens side by side straight onto the bow. This boat's even set up another part for rigging. This is a big panel now that unscrews you take this whole cap right here off and you can get in there to fix a wire or do anything to your wire and tighten your trolling motor up if it loosens up. Used to it was a lot harder to take these big panels off, but this is a really great thing for rigging and doing maintenance on the boat right here as well. I've got the blue water LED light strips all the way down the side walls right here. Uh, every compartment, locker lid lights, deck lights, trailer lights. I mean, we, we really did it up. We do about twice as many as you really need, but we make it really look good that way. And on the Triton truck custom trailer, they have the gator hide on the trailer to keep it uh, the road armor on the highway. I add this little easy troll step. This is about a 
$120 investment on both sides. Helps me step in and out of the boat a little bit easier. Got lighted step pads and I order mine with stainless steel fenders. Uh, you also can get fiberglass fenders. They look really great with fiberglass, but I get stainless steel and have them wrapped blue like my boat. And then the 17 inch custom wheel package, which I love the, the black chrome wheels. I change my wheels out with general tire. I put the general tire G-Max tires on here because we put a lot of miles on it. And these do really good. I've actually got shocks on the trailer as well and a parking brake. So I kind of add all the stuff to my trailer package. It makes it better for all these long trips we go on. All right, I put a Gator Guard kill shield on all of my Tritons every year to protect that hull so I can pull right up on the rocks or the boat ramp without damaging the hull. And it's a very, very good investment. In the interior here of the boat, as I was saying before, the deck is seven inches wider, so it's made each rod locker lid about a t one and a half times the size of the previous rod locker lid. And inside the, the locker, you see right here, I've got I've got probably 35 Daiwa rod and reel combos in here inside the rod gloves with no problem at all. Same on both sides, but this side I use for tackle. I've got a big bag with a lot of plastics in it. I put a crate in here to hold a lot of stuff, a life jacket, extra stuffed up in there, a throw cushion, a little bit of everything, a lot of space to do that with. The center compartment now is the same type center compartment as the TRX Tritons. You still have organizers for rods in here or you got all your slotted trays. A lot of room to put everything you need in there and organize it. And here in the passenger side of the boat now, this is probably my favorite of the new design of this 21 XRT Triton. You've got a huge wide area here built in for your partners. This has an area to put your passenger rods with a nice rod buckle to hold it. Plus you got this compartment here. I love this compartment. This goes all the way to here, all the way to here. So you've got a lot of room, not long enough to put a rod in, but long enough to store a lot of stuff with a totally dry storage area and everything stays totally dry in here. I love this for the passenger side. Over here, passenger and driver side, you've got a nice handle for your passenger to hold on to when you're riding in rough water, which is great. Then you've got the same center compartment lid that opens up with storage for your wallet and your gloves or whatever, you know, buffs, things like that. And this little space, we've always had this, but now it's bigger and it opens up and it has a slide out on it. And you see here, this is kind of my place that I throw all my baits in here instead of here to keep them, you know, close to get to. I got a big pile of junk in here. It's actually got a line spooler here. You can put a spool of line on it and actually spool your line up sitting here in the seat when you're working on your tackle at night. So I like that little spot there and it stays dry as well. Get back here to the back deck when you pass through here, something that's also different. All the compartments now, they are glass gelled in so the boat has the same gel coat inside all the way through the bottom with the poly flake so this blue boat is blue all the way through and this has a drain hole in it a really nice latch that's all aluminum here to keep everything dry and keep it safe but i love this for putting all my equipment in as always great tournament live wells big with multi uh, pumps in here for pumping in recirculating pumping out everything great set up on a first fish system on the set on the system here all you do is hit first fish when you catch a fish and live wells come on and start pumping for you without having to turn on several switches at one time which is really great got the impulse lithium batteries i got two on one side uh, one on the other side here, the power pole pumps and the power pole charge charger. All that setup is very neat and clean out of the way. You have plenty of room to get to it. And then when you pass over to the very back now, the final portion of this Triton boat that makes it great is the TH Marine 10 inch Atlas HD plate. So this is the HD heavy duty plate. You need that on here. Uh, for the support for that big 250 Pro XS Mercury on the back, the four stroke, that HD plate lets that motor come up and down very easily. And the two eight foot power pole blades side by side mounted right in unison there with them. It all turns into a great package. It all works in unison with the Laurent system, with the gateway system, which is all high tech, high technology. Everything in this boat works together as one unit so I can run my power poles, my jack plate, I can do anything off my Laranche units through this system or through that system on the dashboard as well. So you got everything high tech. Like I said, this boat is state of the art and cutting edge and I love it. Well guys, I hope y'all love the 21 XRT with the 250 Pro XS Mercury loaded out. You've seen all the options and all the bells and whistles I've got on this boat. And you can actually win this boat. One lucky person's gonna win this boat in November by donating $100 per ticket chance to King's Home. So go to kingshome.com. You can do it now, middle of the year or later. 
Don't wait to the last minute though in November and we're going to give this one away again. And if you uh, are interested, go to a Triton dealer near you. Go online to tritonboats.com. Check out all these products from all the great sponsors, Lowrance, uh, Blue Water LED, TH Marine, uh, Mercury, uh, all the stuff that we've got in this boat here. You can check it out and you can have it and you can order one just like it. So this boat's been good luck. Hope it's good luck for you if you end up winning it in November. And until then, we'll see you guys on the water. God bless.